the business world knew Sir Wolf Fisher as a leader of industry. He and Morris Peichel put New Zealand on the map in 1934, when they established the whiteware company Fisher & Peichel. The racing world knew Sir Wolf's passion was horses. By the time of his death, Sir Wolf was one of New Zealand's biggest thoroughbred breeders, a skilled administrator and president of the country's largest racing club. Sir Wolf was born in Wellington 1912, the eldest of six children. His father owned a bakery and general store in Paraparaumu. Wolf's job was to mind the horses while his dad delivered the bread. That interest in horses never left him. Sir Wolf married Morris's sister Joyce and they bought a farm at Mount Wellington in 1940. Ten years later, horse breeding began with two broodmares and the stallion Underwood as the property became known as Ra Aura Stud. French-bred Gabador was another early stallion who produced speedsters and stayers. The most brilliant of his progeny, bred at Ra Aura, was El Cobar. He raced briefly in New Zealand, though his fame was earned through wins in Australia and America before going to stud in Kentucky. He remained a favorite with Sir Wolf and returned to Ra Aura Stud as a stallion for his final years. Sir Wolf was also responsible for breeding Akbar, who ran a close second behind Delta in the 1951 Melbourne Cup. By the end of the 1950s, Sir Wolf was involved in racing administration and served 17 years on the Auckland Racing Club Committee, two of them as president. He worked hard to improve facilities at Ellerslie for public members and was in charge during the club's centenary in 1974. Developing two-year-old racing was another of Sir Wolf's passions, along with reviving the Auckland Polo Club. Today, they play on Fisher Field. Sir Wolf moved Raora Stad to East Tamaki by the early 60s, where he built Fisher House. Dignitaries, overseas guests, family and friends were welcomed with open arms to the elegant homestead by Sir Wolf and Lady Fisher. Ten stallions were imported by Sir Wolf during his breeding career. The standout was Sovereign Edition. Bred in Ireland in 1962, he arrived in Auckland four years later. He was bought later in the year, so Sir Wolf didn't advertise him as a commercial stallion. Yet the cantankerous steel grey had an immediate impact. He served 13 mares who had 11 foals, of which an astounding nine were winners. The success of the following crop saw Sovereign Edition become champion New Zealand sire of two-year-olds. He won that title again, along with the Dewar Trophy for champion Australasian sire and champion sire of broodmares on numerous occasions. Sir Wolf would have been proud to know that Sovereign Edition's impact on breeding continued long after the stallion's death in 1983. His name appeared regularly in the pedigrees of top racehorses well into the 21st century. Promoting New Zealand thoroughbreds overseas was important for Sir Wolf. He developed the South African market at the Trentham Yearling Sales. Ra Aura flourished during the 1970s. The stud was always in the top three vendors at the national sales. Sadly, Sir Wolf never saw Ra Aura claim the top honor in 1975. He passed away aged 62 at his Rotorua holiday home just before the sales. His close friend, legendary Australian trainer, Tommy Smith, was visiting. The success that Sir Wolf created didn't stop. Lady Fisher continued to breed and race winners at the thoroughbred stud for another quarter of a century. Ra Aura was overtaken by Auckland's urban expansion. The fields where yearlings and mares once ran became New Zealand's largest industrial business park, known as Highbrook there are still reminders of the racing heritage. Fisher House remains, and motorists travel on roads named after the studmaster, the property, and famous stallions. Sir Wolf's legacy lives on.